Hello friends, today we are going to talk about the Python data types, right? What is Python data types so and how many total data types are available in the case of Python? Other than that, before starting the Python data types, we need to understand about mutable and immutable concepts because in order to understand the Python data types in depth, we need to understand the mutable and immutable. What is the behavior of mutable and immutable? So see here first is the mutable. Mutable means if you have created one data type, you have assigned some values in that, right? So that values are in that some modifications are possible. We can do some changes in that. That is what we are going to call it as an mutable. At the same time, immutable, if we have done any changes, if we have created any data types, if we have done something like that, the variables, whatever we have created, the values, whatever we have assigned in that, we cannot perform any changes. That is called as immutable. Well, so before going through that, I have just given one basic idea about mutable and immutable. Many places, mutable means in which we can perform some changes. Immutable means where we cannot perform any changes very simple so first is in python what is the role of this mutable and immutable things are right so again i'll be coming to that but before that we need to understand what all different data types are available in the case of python in general if you'll say two majorly two types of data types are available one is the numeric and second one is the collections type what is that numeric and second one is what a collections type in numeric when we'll say that is the bool uh, int float like that there are again in collections list tuple set dictionary these all things are again available in the case of where it is available in the case of collections type here so here just i have drawn you and in this one video i'll be explaining the complete you will be having complete idea related to what related to the complete data types of the python and its examples also so let's understand here first here is the here this side i have written all the data types what all the data types are available so we are talking about the bool which is a boolean one you can say in a simple form boolean integer float anyways the float which is float list tuple set frozen set dictionary and string these all are the following data types are available in the case of python which is a basic data types as, as such i am saying now so in order to work with a data type what all things you may need to know all the important things i have just listed in this table what all the things i have listed into the tables number one these all are the data type names other than these data type names whether it is mutable or immutable Again, I'm saying whether it is mutable or immutable. Just now I have told you what is the mutable and immutable. So it is immutable. Okay. So I have written in this line, what is mutable and immutable representation representation means what syntaxes or what is the general structure we are using to declare that corresponding data type. Are you getting my point? What is the structure syntax or another representation you can say we are using to represent that data type that is also I have written into this here. So this is the representation how we are representing it. Okay. Now when we are storing some elements or number of elements we are storing collections of elements we are storing. So definitely there we will be talking about what we will be talking about whether the element is being stored in ordered or unordered way whether it is storing unique element or do with duplicacy it is storing so these things should be there into your consideration that's what i have written here in in this so here see the first what is the class anything whatever we write in python it's a kind of class and object anyways we will come to that separate video i'll be making mutable or immutable representation order or unordered means order and not unordered means the way you have inserted the element is it the outcome and the result is it coming in the same way the way you have stored or it is a different right different in the sense the what you have added other than that if it is representing or if it is showing something else then we will be calling it as an unordered which is you are not aware with that that what order it is going to store the element and something like that so this is the ordered and unordered the this one is the unique or duplicacy whether 
your data type corresponding one is storing elements with the unique elements or it is storing with the duplicacy that is again also an important point so that is what also i have written into this unique or duplicates right and second one that if i am going to write that corresponding one so how do i represent this complete data types into that right so in one example you will be getting complete idea about that and associated with this i'll be i'll just do these programs and i'll be showing it to you okay so let's come into this what is that number one boolean boolean is what it's an immutable boolean is what it's a immutable and boolean in the sense we are talking about true and false remember this in python the true and false what we are writing it is in the capital letter it starts with the capital letter right it is there also in the list of keywords also it is there right it is it is unordered or ordered here it is not storing the collection of elements boolean is not storing the collection of elements so we don't talk about that so you can write here it's a uh, not applicable we can say that it is not applicable right again if it is not storing the collection of elements then there is no point to discuss about the unique or uh, duplicacy something yes if you are declaring any kind of variable in the case of python so say here i have written a is equal to what true you have written so the type of a type of a automatically it becomes the bool type right is, and that is one the beauty of python right so that you need not to think that what is the type of variable you have declared you just assign your value accordingly it will store that values right so i hope this is clear if you want here you can write a1 again is equal to false also you can write here this also you can write right very simple it's a immutable it's a immutable right what is the meaning of this immutable means the one the boolean variable what you have declared that in future you cannot change the content even if you are changing and if it is taking changes so the what id is their previous one that will be changed here right so those who have done something they will understand what i'm saying here i'll be doing on the laptop i'll be doing with the programs and i'll show it to you now when i talk about int int is again immutable right there is nothing to talk about representations right there is nothing to talk about ordered or unordered and again unique or duplicates whereas when i talk about the way of declaring it so a1 is equal to i have written 10 so the type of a1 will become what integer it's a int one and if like the other you might be getting one question in your mind that what is the range of the integer right so there's no range they have not it's a you can provide as much as value you wanted into do to do this right so there's no problem with the range of the integer at the same time when i talk about the float so float is also what it's an immutable it's an immutable and with the point decimal representations you can do next one when i talk about list data type all right so what is there in the list in the list it's a mutable in list it's a list is the mutable and whenever you are declaring list you need to declare it into the square bracket the elements will be separated by a comma what is that elements will be separated by what comma okay next now in this it's an ordered list ordered list ordered list means the way what you are adding the element it is not going to change the list of the or order of the element right it stores with duplicacy there is no problem means if you have stored same element again and again or number of times if you have repeated it that will be stored as it is when i talk about list so in list there are okay one more important thing you need to understand here is that the elements what we are storing inside this list is should be the same type or different type we can store yes we can store the different types of elements right it is you can store the different types of element there is no problem so you can just have a look here how we have represented the list here right it is just a square bracket this is a list now right next one tuple we will call it's a immutable immutable it's a immutable and you are going to represent this tuple like this here this bracket right fine so this is a tuple ordered it is an ordered list of elements fine it stores with duplicacy there is no problem in this way so just the difference between list 
and the tuple is basic difference is the one is mutable second one is the immutable representation is something different or else most of the things are going to be the same in that when i talk about set it's a mutable it's a mutable here remember that it's a mutable you need to declare like this set you need to it's an unordered means there is no order it is going to maintain it will be on some Speci uh, means any order it can store it doesn't matter like in what order you have stored the element no matters and finally it is a unique set is what a unique element into it, it stores the unique element and that too you can store the different types of elements so this is what the set of examples which i have written you can just have a look you can declare set like this now frozen set which is there in frozen set so frozen set is the immutable type of set only frozen set is the immutable type of set only which means that we cannot modify this frozen set right okay unordered unique and like this you can declare the frozen set at the same time now i am coming to the dictionary in the dictionary it is a mutable and dictionary stores the element in the form of key and value pair remember my point stores element in the form of key and value pair where key cannot be duplicated remember that point where key cannot be duplicated and so it's a mutable this is how you uh, represent it in a, this bracket and a dot we are using it and then what value you are writing right the value key type and the value type both could be of any type doesn't matter value and key both could be of any type unordered it is an unordered unordered means again i am saying the way what you are adding the elements it's unordered means what you have added and what it is showing it is going to be of different types similarly key is unique and inside this this is the way of representation here i have given clearly next in this again when i talk about string so string is immutable yes string which is there you can represent in double quotes also and single quotes also you can write the string in both form string and there is no again issue of talking about the ordered and unordered there is nothing to about talk about the key and all yes if you will say here i'll write something like this in this one if i am writing double quotes here you can write jtc right or s2 you can write something in a single quotes also you can write the a b c like this you can write here hope you understand this point right if any questions is coming if any questions related to this particular data types in the case of python mutability immutability write it in the comment box definitely we will be making other videos on that so share it subscribe it thank you guys